Hey guys, Blunatron here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be getting, this is going to be a guide on how to be around 300 plus. So, you're definitely going to want Azili as your hero here. It, the percentage that she does to Babylons in the late game, and the, she's not like based on just um, raw popping power, she's based on the percentage of the health so um because of that she's going to be the best hero for you in the late game so we're going to be using her and um i'm going to be making knowledge points but the making knowledge points aren't going to matter that much other than this special making knowledge point that you're definitely going to want to have there can be only one and so that basically allows you to get the vengeful we've uh, talked about that um a bunch of times on the channel but um you're going to be getting the vengeful in this game and so um cubism very long map we're going to be playing on easy standard uh it's gonna help us out to get the vengeful and so we'll get zeal here get a couple farmers and so um the, basically the vengeful our strategy is going to be basically stalling the balloons um and just a lot of stalling and the towers that do the most damage. So the Vengeful, the BMA, Blue Master Alchemist, the um like Azili, and um like the Shinobi Tactics, um or the Grand Saboteur, I mean uh so basically like Blue Master Alchemist, Azili, Grand Saboteur, things that do percentage damage, and then just very, very extreme raw power like the Vengeful. So that's going to be our um, strategy plus uh, stalling balloons. And um, so we're going to be using like the Ice Monkey. Um, just in case any balloons slip by, we're going to be using Bomb Blitz. Um, so. Yeah, I'm going to be incorporating some music into this video, too. Um, so, this is going to be fun. So, um, let me get some farms up and running. And let's place the farm down. Farms are just a great tower. Also, I'm going to be trying to get the Bloom Master Alchemist achievement, um, or the Blue Master Populist achievement, uh, during this video, and so, the, uh, achievement, I have not got it yet, but it's, uh, pop one billion balloons of the Blue Master Alchemist, and so, you can, if you're trying to get that achievement still, um, this is another way to get that achievement, although, um, it, you probably won't be able to get it just with this one video, um, but, if you do, then nice job, and uh, I'm going to be hoping to get it as well. I have like 70-ish percent in it, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. But another uh, tower that's going to be very, very, very helpful um, when we're doing this is going to be the um, Ray of Doom, but not so much as the Ray of Doom you might think that it would be more helpful than the blue explosions on our mad but the mad it's each missile does extreme damage to model class balloons and that's not just extreme that's massively extreme that's humongous damage so the um mad is definitely going to be one tower that you're going to want for sure because it does yeah definitely extreme damage to model class balloons so, um, it, yeah, the mad is going to be a tower that you definitely want to get. And so we're going to, I'm playing on a mobile device, so I'm definitely going to try to reduce lag as much as possible. So no, like, Apache Primes, early game, fine, but, uh, no towers that cause a lot of lag, like the Tac Zone or Avatar of Wrath. I might be getting that. But it will cause a lot of lag, so I will definitely be selling it if it causes a lot um, and too much for my device to handle, so, um, so, another tower that, like, towers that don't cause a lot of lag, that, like, the Grand Saboteur, that are also amazing because of the percentage base, are going to be, uh, really good for this, and then I think we'll also be getting the, um, Blue Incineration, because it's, 
um, basically strips DDT camo, and, um, it strips, uh, with the monkey knowledge, which I do have, strips the fortification layers, I, I think, um, so that's really cool, and then, uh, so that'll be really helpful on bad balloons and on some DDTs and GMGs, and, um, so, like, no flying fortress either, uh, oh, another tower that's going to be very helpful is the preemptive strike and a lot of first strike capabilities because of their ability, um, that pops just, even on, like, round 200 plus, pops like a bad balloon. It's really, really good, and so that's going to be another, uh, good thing that we're going to want to have. And so, um, I will get back to you guys when, uh, I'm just going to be, like, doing a regular strategy, getting my super monkey, trying to get the vengeful. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then, um, you can check out two of our other videos where we got the, um, or the, our video where we got the vengeful. Um, so, yeah, I'll be getting back to you guys when it's about round 60 or so. And, uh, I should have a good amount of towers by then. Just up against the BFB, we had no problem. And so, um, I have, as you, um, will see, I have a support Chinook. Uh, now I just upgraded to Special Operations, uh, Apache Prime. Um, I'm getting these three ready to, um, be engulfed, basically, by the, um, Sun Avatar. Uh, I have this. I'm getting it ready to be mad. I have a bunch of banana research facilities. Um, and I also have um, the monkey nomics, or the IMF loan that I'm going to get into a monkey nomics. And so, um, Azili is currently level 10. Um, and so, this is basically what you should about have if uh, you um, ha have farmed enough, and so, um, we're going to be going till we have the Sun Temple, and then I'll fast forward to, like, round, uh, 99 for the reinforced DTs, just in case those might be a problem, because they sometimes are tricky, but, uh, yeah, so, the, um, I'm gonna be getting the Moab Domination soon, um, for, like, and the other $50,000 upgrades for the Sun Temple. I, now, I am going to be getting, um, this balloon trap because, not because I need to, because I actually don't, but, um, I do just like to have a maxed out temple, even though, like, it's not, like, it already would be maxed out, but it will get me money. Um, it gives you money if you have support, $50,000 worth of support, so I just, um, upgraded the $50,000 worth of support, but, uh, now I have these already, the crossbow master, eh, that's not popping that many, and so, yeah, so once I get the temple, I'm gonna fast forward to around, uh, 99, and... You guys will see that there's no problem. Like, there's going to be easy, like, smooth sailing until we're at about round 160. So, um, we, oh, wow, that we got a lot of money since then. Uh, so, now we just need a little bit more to get the Sun Temple. Um, this I have because of the lives and stuff. Actually, I might be placing down some tech bots. Or a lot of tech bots, um, <laughs> yeah, retro tech bot. um, to activate these abilities, um, immediately, but, let me do that, let's just, okay, that's enough for now, that, link, uh, this to that, link, this to that, is there anything else to link? Bazili. Link. No, those are just for upgrades. Okay, we're good. So, um, now we have enough for the Sun Temple, and yes, I did upgrade. Oh, I engulfed that farm. And engulfed. Weird word. Anyway, um, 
I ate up my farm, so I'm gonna buy that back. And so now we have the Sun Temple. And so I have the two planes. That's how you know that you did it right. And so now we're going to be fast forwarding to 99. <laughs> oh my gosh. Apparently, I forgot to turn on the recording. And I skipped around 99. But we beat around 100. Yay. So basically, I have Legend of the Night. The anti balloon gunner, sold the Apache Prime, uh, told you that, like, early game was fine, but late game, uh, so it causes way too much a lot. Um, special pop operations, I have that, I have, um, everything prepared for the, um, the, like, getting the true sun god. And, um, these were going are going to get sacrificed so once i have enough money i'm just going to sell those so i can get some money off of them um and so do whatever combination you want for the um like the fifty thousand in use category i probably didn't do the most efficient way but it works so oh that is also a range hmm let me sell that hold up i'm gonna sell these oh we almost have enough so it's round one, uh, 101 right now, and so, um, we almost have enough for the true sun god, it almost have enough is 100,000 more, but, um, we also have over a thousand lives, thanks to special operations, it's actually very, very, very helpful. Um, also I have monkeynomics and a bunch of farms, if you didn't see that already, but, uh, Zelia is level 20. And, um, we're very close to getting the true sun god, or the vengeance. And so, once we get that, um, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you around, around 200, I guess. Oh, it's really close. Um, but, you don't need to use any abilities, I mean, unless you, uh, like, want to use the special operations i mean you probably should because it gets you a lot of lives but other than that you don't need to use abilities um you can use the azealia yeah you should probably have some tech bots linked up to them but if you can't do that you should probably use the azealia and the um monkeynomics and the special operations but i'm gonna get the the ventral hopefully we get everything right and uh, yeah, we did. Okay, we got the best. Um, first things first, it doesn't have camo. So, village. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so, still don't have that home on defense. Still don't have that home on defense. Oh my gosh. Anyway, now it has a lot of it. Jeez, I'm gonna get those farms back. Which means that this now has more range, too. So I can place a farm there. It's really nice. And farm here. I can place a farm here. Come on. Come on. I know I can. I know I can. I don't really know if I can. Okay, I, I did it. Good. Okay, now I have enough farms. Um, click that. Okay, now I have a lot of money. So, this, good, uh, let's get the Energizer. So, you guys are wanna, gonna wanna, um, buy, so basically, this, right here, this Balloon Master, actually, I'm gonna sell this one, and this, and that, I, that, yeah, that was, sorry, but, you guys are gonna you're gonna want to get the Blue Master Alchemist. Um, you guys should probably get a Engineer all the way up here. That was a very bad spot. Now I can't click him because of the setting spot. Oh, so good. But like more like right there. Definitely do not get Sentry again. Trust me, it causes way too much lag. Um, and then get some fours. I'd say about three, probably. Actually, I'll just get two. Link that up. 
Oh, wait, no, I can't link that up yet because I had to ultra sling first. But, um, I'll get the bomb blitz. Just get it over here. It's only specifically going to be used to, um, kill off balloons if we, anything dies. Or, I mean, sorry, if any, uh, balloons get through. Um, I should get the mad, definitely, yes, the mad. That's something very important. Um, let me get the, uh, yeah, that's a good targeting, and we'll get the bonus generation. I'm not sure if that rapid reload is actually the best one. You guys tell me in the comments below if it is the best one, I'm really not sure if it is, but, um, now we can link that up, link, link. Okay, so, then, um, another thing we're gonna wanna do is get this, Icicle and the Hail, or the 113, um, what else, we're gonna wanna get the super glue, and definitely glue splatter, but my game crashed, okay, so, my game crashed, so, that into balloons. Sorry guys. That sucks. But hmm. So yeah, that happened. That okay. Sorry guys. I don't know why that happened. We should Probably sell the farms. I don't know. That that's probably why that happened. I don't know. If that's not what happened, then I don't know what. What? You know, I really don't know what caused that. I really don't. Hmm. Oh yeah, another one that we really want to get. Um, bad placement, but Shinobi Tap. Yeah, I keep saying Shinobi Tactics, but um, Grand Saboteur. Definitely just get your shurikens just because I don't know. And um so the energizer, yes, the energizer, definitely the energizer. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. After we get the preemptive strike, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get long range. I feel like I should get that. I don't know. I should probably sell that. Um, so I'll get advanced intel. I'll we'll get a bunch of other ones. So after I get this, we definitely want to get the bloom crush. Actually, I'll just get the bloom crush right now, just because. But these, I'm gonna get that. I'm really not sure if you should get advanced intel or not. But, I'm going to, um, I don't know what the best prospect for these guys is, um, but, okay, so, uh, I'm gonna just quickly go over the towers to see, is there anything else I would want to get? No, uh, I think that's it. This seems like a really good setup. Well, let me sell these other farms. Yeah, the only other thing I would want to do is... Um, Link, Link, Shinobi, no, yeah, Link, Shinobi Tactics, and definitely Link this, um, called Arms. Yeah, so, um, I will see you guys back at round 200. Okay, so, I just beat round 200, um, as you can see, I moved a couple towers, I, um, there are, like, I've ultra boosted a lot of different towers, and so, um, I have basically the balloon generation. What has the most pops so far is definitely the vengeful sun god. Definitely. Um, but you, I have, um, just 1,250 lives. You, um, get those with the special pop operations is very helpful. 
then the preemptive strike, um, the mad is ultra boosted 10 times, as you can see, with the crazy abilities, and it has a lot of pops. As you can see, it is very helpful for the strategy. Then you, um, so I think that, like, we might be stopping at around, around 250, if not, if I can go to around 300, then, uh, I will, but, um, I have a couple different villages, one for all the main towers, um, just, like, around here, um, although it is not buffing that, uh, ice cold pale, um, one just for, uh, the Prenta Strike and the Mad, and one just for the Blue Master Alchemist, which is at the front, um, I moved that there recently, the Bomb Blitz, um, nothing has gotten through, but somehow it does have bumps. Oh, yeah, I guess things have gotten to, like, that sliver of a place where it can pop. But, um, as you can see with my... Oh. Well, I'm gonna continue what I was saying. As you can see with my road spikes, that, um, nothing, uh, has gotten through. But, uh, we basically have, uh, everything that we need to have. I might wanna actually, um sell some things, but, uh, we're at currently around 207, I'm definitely gonna sell some things, so, what's the least amount of pops? Hmm, everything's doing fairly well if we don't have that many towers. I guess since I have a lot of lives, I could sell that? Ooh, that pains me though. Oof, I guess I could sell that too. Nothing has gone through, so I guess I can sell that too. That's probably enough. I'm not sure if it's fully enough. We'll have to see. But, um, this is my main, uh, tech bot that's set for that ultra boost. Uh, I've been ultra boosting, so I've ultra boosted Blue Master Alchemist times 10, the uh, Sun God, uh, the Vengeful times 10. Shinobi Tactics times 10. Uh, oh yeah, I was working on the Ice Clone Pale. Let's do that some more. Um, times 5 so far. Um, the Mad times 5. I mean, 10. Uh, I need to do a Zealy soon. Um, but actually, there's no other towers that would need to be ultra boosted. Hmm. So, um, just. Yeah, this is a very simple strategy. You just basically have like four times. Actually, I'm gonna sell that. Eight, I really only need this, 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 and that for like just attacking towers. Nothing else. Uh, yeah, just four attacking towers, and then the others are for buffing, which there's a lot of buffing. I'm gonna sell these other tech bots I'm not using anymore. Um, just because I'm not sure if they do cause lag, but if they do, I want as minimal lag as possible. Um, I'm not sure if this is really helping that much, but if it is, I'm still gonna keep it. And so, um, round 212, I just keep ultra boosting what you have to ultra boost, and you should be fine. Um, Energizer, ooh, it's really good, but I really want to reduce lag. I'm gonna sell that. Um, okay, now we should have enough reduced lag, and we should be fine. But, um, yeah, so, round 215, I'm gonna sell this. What else can I sell? Nothing? No? Okay. So, um, I'm gonna check back in at around, round 230, maybe? So, until then, goodbye. So, I'm at round 230. I decided to get rid of a lot of things. Uh, I'm not sure if I already got rid of the, um, the special operations. But if I hadn't, then I got rid of that. I got rid of, um, the village that, um, was next to the mad. Got a village here that would buff this village. That would get the mad, the mad just, um, like, more, uh, like, 
the radius of that village. <laughs> I uh, sold the Energizer. Uh, I, as you can see, I'm not sure if I already sold the um, Proved to Strike and those, but I'd, if I hadn't, then I sold those. Um, I'm going to sell these three. Um, I fully did the ice cream pail. Um, I ultra boosted ten times. I fully ultra boosted a Zeely. I really want to sell that, but I need its camo. And yeah, I don't think you can pop camo otherwise. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I fully got rid of like all the other stuff. Oh wait, he can't. That's weird. He doesn't get the MIB. Well, that's very strange. I have to give him the MIB. That is very very strange. <laughs> but um, we're in two thirty two. Um, I should be getting at least close to the Blue Master Populist. <laughs> Um, but I really hope this guide was, um, this video was helpful for you to get to run 200. Um, remember the key things that you need to have are Azili, always use Azili when going to, um, very high rounds, um, or at least trying to. Uh, you need the, there, um, there can only be one, or there, uh, selling along those lines, monkey knowledge point, um, for the vengeful, um, and then you need definitely the mad, a couple tech bots, um, and so if you found this guide or video helpful, then um, please comment, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with your friends, and if you haven't already, um, just click through our other videos, um, give them a like. And it really doesn't, I know that it really won't mean that much to you because it doesn't take, like, as much as a minute. But it means a lot to us um, at the Balloonatron here, um, or at the Balloonatron. And so, um, we thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I might have another, uh, like, period of time where I go to, like, around 250 or something. But... Um, this is actually the farthest I've ever gotten, probably because I'm on a mobile device, and, I mean, I have another save game at round 233, um, which is the second farthest I've ever gotten now, and it crashes every five seconds, so, I don't do that one anymore, but, um, this round 237 still going strong, so, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Or if I do have another period at round 250. Goodbye. Guys, so I was going to check in around 260. Um, then I just didn't. But um, 265, game over. Um, same setup. The abilities used. That's a lot of abilities. Wow, I actually didn't you realize that that was how many abilities I used. Powers used 18, that means 18 tech bots. Moabs popped. <gasps> Cash generated, wow. Okay, well, I use data abilities apparently, and the tech bots use 1,520. That's a lot. Well, game over. So, hope you guys liked it. We're in 265 with this strategy. Um, if you have a PC, you will definitely, um, if you have all the um, towers, like, just don't sell them if you have a really strong PC um, with a lot of memory. Um, but if you don't, then definitely just uh, stick with the four towers and, like, the hero. It's, or I think it's, like, six towers, but um, anyway. Game over, round 265 with the strategy. Hope you guys liked it. Peace. And 
actually make sure to like subscribe comment down below please um share this video with your friends and now peace